We now take you back live to the Bourke Street Mall where the Chief Commissioner of Victoria Police, Graham Ashton, is speaking. Wherever we can to prevent it from happening again. Uh, that's really the operational update, so happy to... Are you happy for questions? Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Multiple counts. Yep. Francis, look, this is a very important question, but I'm not here today to make any announcements about bail or those matters. I will have some things to say quite soon, and I'll be more than happy to take you through the detail of that. Look, today we're all... You know, it's just such a sad day today. To, as, a par as, as a parent, it's a very sad day today. There can be nothing, nothing more innocent than a little three-month-old baby that's our focus today. We are sad, we are angry, and we are resolute in making the changes that need to be made to learn from this and to honour that, that three-month baby, old baby, and to honour all, all of those who have lost their lives here and all of those who have had their lives forever changed. I'll have more to say about this and I'll be only too happy to take you through the detail of it then. Without having detail, there will be changes on the way to If changes are needed to be made, based on the facts, they will be made, and resources will not be an issue, expense will not be an issue. If reform and change needs to be made, be in no doubt it will be made. But are you frustrated as a Premier by what's happened here, and, and so many Victorians seem to be frustrated about so many people Yes, I am. Yes. No, I am. I am. And uh, it's my job, though, to, to take that frustration and that anger and the deep sadness that I feel and that every Victorian feels and to make sure that's put into reform and change uh, where we get this right. That's exactly what I'm focused on doing and that's what we will do and I'll have more to say about that soon. Given Victoria is the only state that uses the bail justice system, yes. that is time Well again, I don't want to be pre-empting uh, processes that I'll have more to say about soon. Uh, but we do have a number of unique features of our system. Uh, but again, this case, so many other cases, uh, they, I think, should leave none of us in any doubt that we have to have a close look at these uh, arrangements. And if changes need to be made, then they should be, and be in no doubt they will be. Commissioner Ashton, I just ask you, do you uh, share one of the view that magistrates should be on call for bail over the weekend? Uh, yeah, look, we've... The coroner's going to have a look at this. We've expressed frustration over the course of the journey about, um, about bail issues. Uh, we uh, haven't made a secret of that. Uh, but at the same time, I think, as I said yesterday, you know, we have to make sure that we understand the courts are independent of police. So my role in criticising, uh, in playing any sort of critical role in the courts is not one that I'm sort of can play as someone who presents cases to that court. So uh, the courts are independent. Uh, so Ron doesn't have that obligation, so he can speak more freely than I can. But uh, I, I would be uh, remiss if I didn't express that, that frustration that members feel, police members feel around the issues. But they're not just police members. I think everyone that works in the system uh, has, has issues with it from time to time, as, uh, as has been said. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I hear what Ron's saying, uh, but I have to recognise, of course, the court's independence in this regard. Prime Minister, will the federal government contribute to the tax uh, refund? The, the federal government will make a contribution, and Lucy and I will also be making a contribution. We have the best police and security services in the world, and the most important task of every government at every level is to keep the people safe, to protect the safety of the people. Our police officers, if you've seen here today, work night and day to keep us safe. They stand in the front line, taking on threats and horrors many of us would find almost unimaginable. They deserve our strong support. 
and solidarity at all times. The men and women who are in the front line keeping us safe, whether it's in the ADF, whether it's in the police, state and federal police forces, security services, intelligence services, they will always have my absolute, unequivocal, total support. The offender here will be charged with murder, as the Commissioner has said, uh, and he'll be dealt with with the full severity of the law, I have no doubt. Just, yeah, okay. Just on, on that issue. So, sadly, we we have five individuals who have passed away. There are uh, 12 or 13. It's a little bit variable uh, with the passing of each hour. Who are in hospital at the moment, and we have continued grave concerns for the well-being of a number of those patients. They are critical. They're in a very, very serious uh, condition. The fear is, of course, that the, the death toll from this evil act will rise, but we will keep you informed and updated on that as often and as accurately as we possibly possibly can. Today, the, the great sense of sadness that I think is rolling over all of us is in relation to the three-month-old and to, to that family and to each family who's been touched by this. We send our love and our support and our prayers and knowing that it's not enough to heal the, the pain that they feel but we send it we send it anyway as the little thing the small thing but the powerful thing that we can do can I just finish by saying again how grateful I am on behalf of all Victorians that the Prime Minister is here today Malcolm thank you so much for being here and can I just the Lord Mayor has been uh, steadfast and has been him and his team have been a, a pleasure to work with uh, albeit in very difficult circumstances. We just get it done and that's uh, what I think all Victorians would expect in these very difficult times. We put our differences aside and we just get on and get things done and that's uh, exactly what we've been doing. Thank you all very much. Well, Mayor, what would you Thank say you. Bill Burnett's returning to work tomorrow? Well, look, in, in many ways, returning to our normal routines is one of the best things we can do, knowing that it won't be a normal day. Um, on one of the tributes behind me, the card reads, Melbourne is our home. What happens to any one of us happens to us all. And I think we all feel that today. Are there any plans for the Pearl Tribute to, to keep it? Or to... The, the Premier and I will, will discuss that. Um, we'll be respectful of people wishing to show their grief. Uh, we, we will look at you know, some form of, of keeping this memorial here for a period of time. Uh, but the Premier and I will have more to say about that in the coming days. And any thoughts about it? Well, we do have a Victims of Crime Memorial, and uh, you might recall when we had that awful atrocity in Bali, uh, I was in the Parliament at the time, and uh, the Premier at the time, Steve Brax, and I agreed that we would keep uh, and preserve all of the cards and, and all of the best wishes, and that has been done. And then the organic material was mulched and used in the Bali Memorial Garden just beside Parliament. So that may be a model, but the Premier and I have yet to sort of work through those details. Thanks very much, everyone.